A man in Japan recently discovered that he holds Singaporean citizenship, a fact he was unaware of for many years. This unexpected revelation has placed him in a challenging position, as he now faces possible national service, NS, evasion charges. The man, who identifies as half Japanese and half Singaporean Chinese, shared his story on Reddit, asking for advice on how to handle his situation. He spent part of his childhood in Singapore, moving back to Japan in 2016 due to the high cost of living in the city-state. For years, he believed he was solely a Japanese citizen. However, during a recent visit from his Singaporean relatives, a casual conversation led to questions about his citizenship. His mother then confirmed that he also holds Singaporean citizenship and even produced his citizenship certificate as proof. This realization quickly brought him to the conclusion that he might be in violation of Singapore's NS requirements. In Singapore, all male citizens are required to serve NS unless they've been granted an exemption. Upon contacting the Ministry of Defense, MINDEF, the man learned that he faces two charges. The first is leaving Singapore without an exit permit, and the second is failing to register for NS. Even though he no longer needs to serve NS, as he didn't renounce his Singaporean citizenship, these legal charges could still result in jail time and fines. The man shared on Reddit that he is considering returning to Singapore to face the charges, hoping for a reduced sentence by cooperating. However, Redditors have been divided in their responses. Some users have advised him to avoid returning to Singapore altogether and suggested meeting relatives in Johor Bahru, Malaysia, instead. Others have blamed his parents for not informing him of his dual citizenship earlier. There are many previous cases of NS defaulters who returned to Singapore after a long absence, often facing jail sentences ranging from weeks to months. One example from 2023 involved a man who lived in Hong Kong for more than 10 years without fulfilling his NS obligations. Upon returning, he received a six-month jail sentence. In another case in 2022, a Taiwan-born Singaporean was sentenced to nine weeks in jail for defaulting on his NS obligations, having stayed outside of Singapore to focus on his studies. This situation raises important questions about citizenship, responsibility, and the consequences of ignorance. What do you think about this? Should the man return to Singapore and face the charges, or should he try to avoid legal repercussions by staying abroad? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to 2230 for more news coverage and insights.